Welcome, we will be using Mac for this demo. In this video, we will cover how to deduplicate references in EndNote. If you are importing references from multiple databases, it is possible that there may be duplicates. EndNote allows you to quickly and easily remove those duplicates so that only one copy of each reference remains. One of the nice things about EndNote's deduplicate function is that it gives you control over the deduplication process. It does this by allowing you to choose which combination of fields must be identical for EndNote to identify them as duplicates. Before deduplicating, you should set your preferences. To do this, from the main menu, click EndNote 20 and Preferences. In the Preferences window, select Duplicates from the list on the left. Under Compare References based on the following fields, check the boxes next to fields that you would like to use to identify duplicates. A good starting point is Author, Year, Title, and Secondary Title Journal. EndNote will only identify as references as duplicates if the information in all of these fields matches. Then click Save. Now you're ready to deduplicate. Select the group of references you would like to deduplicate. This can be all references or a custom group you have created. Here I will select all references. From the main menu, click Library and find Duplicates. A pop-up window will appear prompting you to review each set of duplicates and choose which one to keep, one by one. You may wish to use this method if there are a few duplicates. If you have many duplicates, it is better to click Cancel. This will close the pop-up window, but temporary group called Duplicate References will remain open. In this group, one from every pair of duplicates is highlighted, making it easy for you to quickly review and delete them. Before deleting, you should always review this list to ensure that all pairs are true duplicates. If you find one that isn't, hold the command key and click on the highlighted reference to deselect it. Once you've reviewed the list, either press the delete button on your keyboard or click on one highlighted reference, then drag it to the trash group in the groups panel. This will delete all highlighted references. References in your trash are never permanently deleted unless you choose to do so manually. If you would like to permanently delete references in your trash, right click on the trash group and choose empty trash. And then press yes. Please note that if you are working on a knowledge synthesis project, you will need to be extra careful to ensure that you complete your deduplication correctly. We recommend that you take a look at this publication for a more advanced method of deduplicating. You have now completed the video. Thank you for watching.